So my mob, my mob is from um, uh, Ugaramle, Itzalga, Muagal people in the Torres Strait. Some of, some of them in the audience are awesome. And my Aboriginal ancestry comes from the Kukumini, Kukuyalanji, and Girame people of far north Queensland. I was born and raised on a little island called Thursday Island, where every night is late night shopping. <laughs> oh, damn it, damn it. But I'm a proud, I'm a proud black fella. Very proud black fella. But I'll be honest with you. It is really hard to be a proud black fella when you're brown and look like an Indian. <laughs> and I always laugh when I tell that joke. People come up to me later on and they go, you actually look more Middle Eastern. <laughs> it's like you think you're missing the point of the joke, but anyway. <laughs> but I love my people, I love my culture. And one of the things in particular that I love is our ability and our proficiency in nonverbal communication, body language. I mean, let's face it, we've had 60,000 years to perfect it. One thing in particular I love is the nod. Any black fellas in here, make some noise if you know what I'm talking about, the nod. <laughs> See, they know the nod. So the nod is when you go out into community, you go out in public, and it might be full with you know, all sorts of people, and there might be that one brother or sister, uncle or aunt on the other side of the room or on the other side of the street or in a plane. No, gammon. <laughs> And you see each other, and you make eye contact, and then, the, then comes the nod. Wait for it. <laughs> they see, they reciprocate, they nod. No one else sees this, except for maybe other black people on the street or wherever you are. Now what this nod means, that slight head movement means I see you there, brother, sister, uncle, aunt, whatever. If anything goes down, I got you. <laughs> we go back to back. We, we got this. Well, apparently, Indian people have a nod too. <laughs> Are there any Indian brothers and sisters in the audience? Yeah. Make some noise. Is there a nod? Make some noise. Yeah. <laughs> One Indian guy at the back there. Yeah! <laughs> but I know this anyway. Because Indian people nod at me. <laughs> so they look at me and then I look away. <laughs> I go, no. <laughs> Aboriginal. <laughs> and they look at me and their eyes light up and they smile and they go. <laughs> and I'm there going, no, I'm doing these ones. Aboriginal. <laughs> Aboriginal. You start doing weird things. I do weird things like I start standing like the mole uncles with the spear. Aboriginal. <laughs> Aboriginal. But they think I'm busting out Bollywood moves. So they, they do their Bollywood moves. I'm like, no, I'm not your countryman. But I'll confess something here today. I'll confess this to you guys. Don't tell no one. Sometimes I pretend. <laughs> I pretend to be Indian. And I'll give you an exact situation where this happens. So I'll go into a pub, and there might be an older uncle there, Aboriginal uncle in the, in the bar. He looks over. I look over. We make eye contact. He nods. Now I want to stop it right there. Because I know, just as well as any black fella in this audience, that if I'm not back, what will happen next is he'll eventually come up to me and he'll say, boy, who are you mob? I'll tell him. Then what will follow is usually about a five minute discussion on our family tree. <laughs> Going back 10 generations. And the conversation always ends the same way. I'm your uncle. Go buy Uncle Sabia. That's why when I walk in the bar, when I see him and he nods, I go like this. 
then he'll be there. No, Aboriginal, <laughs> Aboriginal. That's my time, guys. Thanks, Melbourne. Cheers. <laughs>